So now we have the basic decision to start the, such an academic institution, which you know gives a BA and BSc, and uh, to teach chemistry and communications. A lot of people, and most of people, I tell them that I like chemistry. They say, "What? I hate it. It's, it's not a favorite subject for them, but for me, yes, it is. I love it." This is the only college is distinct from university in Israel that has already established a program in chemistry and that is considering the development of further programs in the sciences. And here we need the communications and marketing and every job needs communications and marketing. Because the media is grown up and, and it's a very important part of our life to make, um, to make to, to express our feeling and our needs to, to all the world. The new media technologies in order to reach people, to, to, go, to, to go to the people and, and try to talk to them from this multicultural uh, uh, view. We are very close to get accreditation for occupation therapy computer science so we can enter to the high tech. Now I'm the head of the occupation therapy. We must have this relationship with all the hospitals and schools and the community in the region. I'd like to make a recommendation. Uh, if the university can uh, work some, some of a deal with uh, companies in, the, uh, in Nazareth or in other city, so the students in computer science or other subjects can work part-time jobs in there. If we take the economic branch, data technology and communication, in Israel there are about 185,000 employees in this economic branch. From these 185,000, there are only less than 1,000 employed, Arab employed in these economic branches. Less than 1%, almost half percent. Although they make 20% of the population in Israel. We're going to offer a program called Entrepreneurship and Management. This is a very important program because uh, developing small business and be part of the uh, industry development in Galilee requires so. I have thoughts about uh, creating my own company and working with other students from the university. General Education Corps includes languages, the three languages, includes uh, many things in the cultural aspect, includes the uh, conflict resolution. History, in uh, geogra geographic, uh, in mathematics and in everything, in English, in Arabic, in Hebrew. Uh, courses we, we took, it's not just about chemistry. We did uh, history, geographic, music, art, languages. And at first I didn't like it because what? I want just to study chemistry, I don't want to study other courses, but uh, it was helpful for me. And the most important thing is the language. <laughs> when uh, I first went to the university, um, I had a lab uh, course and I opened the notebook. I was looking at the English and was, I started to cry. So with practice and more time, I, you know, uh, I got to the point that I, I don't need to use a dictionary. Another aspect which is very important is the peace study, which is part of all the program which we include. About 20% of our program, it's a peace study or what we call liberal art. We learn in the framework of, of peace studies. They will learn facilitation, mediation. They will learn how to work in a, in a team and how to lead a team. They will work with their community and get to know it. We have everything between the Jewish student and the Arab student here in the high school. We are doing a, a big program to teach the Jewish about the Arab tradition and about the Arab culture. And also the Jewish, they teach the Arabic student about the, the Jewish culture. and the When Arab people meet, they Jewish uh, uh, lectures, 
uh, Arabs, Muslims, and Christians, uh, Jewish lectures. It uh, it create a, a a very very good atmosphere between them. We are the Jewish community. We have to accept to know to learn how to accept the other communities. Uh, among them is the biggest community is the Arab community. Especially for me, I don't have a problem with, with any with anybody. I don't care if he is if he Muslim or Jewish or we all humans, right? So we can live together and enjoy our life. We're looking at doing uh, programs together where we can bring our students and students <coughs> from the Galilee region into the same classroom using video conferencing. It's part of the framework of peace studies. We teach Hebrew, Arabic, and English in advanced level that is not only advanced academically, but is also practical. Not just like a closed mind, like, you know, just one way and that's it. No, we just must to know many ways and how to open all the doors in front of us. Why someone has to give his money to support this institution? First, it is the first such institution in Israel that comes out of the Arab community. The whole infrastructure of radio and TV production. So we need a studio. Other infrastructures like, you know, offices, like computers, like, you know, the essential things to build this, you know, the institution, you know. Computerized information system for the campus. You need people to build the system, to maintain it. Right now we have nothing. So, <laughs> we have the dream. Right now we have the dream. And the dream is very, it's very nice thing. You know, to dream at night and to come in the morning and to do it is the problem. And we can do it only with money and some kind of uh, financial resources. Mitzad Misrad HaChinuch אני רוצה להציע שתי הצעות שאני מציע שישקלו על ידי המכללה במטרה לסייע. אחת, לפתוח במכללה ובשיתוף עם המרכז לחינוך לחיי קריירה ולהכנה לאקדמיה. מרכז שיקיים קורסים פסיכומטריים, חיזוק כישורי שפה אנגלית ומתמטיקה. פעילויות וייעוץ לחשיפת הנוער במגזר הערבי לאפשרויות השתלבות בהשכלה הגבוהה וסיוע לנוער הערבי לקראת בחירת קריירה. נקודה שנייה או הצעה שנייה לפעול לארגון השתלמויות למורים במסגרת מתווה אופק חדש בתחום המדעים ואנחנו מוכנים להעמיד צוות מקצועי של המשרד ללוות את המכללה בבנייה ובארגון של ההשתלמויות הללו.